Hi, I'm Dr. Hacky Reitman. Welcome to another episode of Exploring Different Brains. Today we have my friend, Dr. Marsha D. Brown, who's a licensed psychologist. And she's going to tell us all about forensic and all kinds of psychology. And we're even going to learn about stress today. Marsha, welcome to Exploring Different Brains. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Tell us what you do and give yourself a proper introduction. Okay. Um, wow. So I do a lot of stuff. Uh, I am a licensed psychologist. I have a specialization in forensic and clinical psychology. Um, so with the forensic, that's basically, I work with criminal, family, and civil court cases. So I do a lot of psychological evaluations, figuring out... Um, depending on what the court question is. So uh, for, say, family court, I do what used to be called custody evaluations or psychological evaluations. For criminal court, I do competency evaluations. And then for civil court, mostly uh, psychological damages, those sorts of things. Um, but what I also do is I teach. Um, so I am now, I, I used to teach uh, undergraduates and graduate students, but now since I've been down in Florida for the past uh, four years or so, uh, I teach professionals. And most of what I teach has to do with stress uh, management and mental health. I also note that you deal in something called mental health maintenance. Could you elaborate on that? Yes. Um, so mental health maintenance, mental health management is just basically the idea that, you know, we all, uh, most of us have hundreds of things to do at any given time. And we have to understand how our stressors, how running around and having, you know, so many different things on our plate at once, how those things can affect our mental health. And then using that knowledge to be able to manage our mental health and make sure that we are making sure that we're mentally well. Well, something I've been trying to get a handle on myself rather unsuccessfully is stress. So using me for a guinea pig. Yes. Let's talk about how we can help our listeners and viewers deal with stress. Sure. Um, well, first and foremost, um, we're all going to have stress. We can't get rid of it, right? Because stress is a, a natural part of life. If you're living and breathing, you have some amount of stress, okay? Uh, we have things that are considered good stress, which would be for a lot of people like getting a new job that they've wanted for a long time or um, buying a house and moving into it because that's been their dream for a really long time. So those things can be considered good stress or tolerable stress. Uh, and then you have the other things. So that's for, for you. You said we're using you as a guinea pig. So I'm sure you have all sorts of, you know, deadlines that you want to get things done in a certain amount of time. You also, from what I know, uh, you travel a ton. You're always running around. You always have like a, a bunch of speaking engagements and you're teaching here and you're doing this and you're doing that. Am I kind of on the right track? She's getting warm. <laughs> okay. So with all those things we have on our plate at any given time, we have to make sure that we're taking time for ourselves. So we have some downtime where we're able to disconnect from all the craziness that's going on. So that's disconnecting from our phone, disconnecting from the computer, just disconnecting from the internet and just having time to just be and to relax. And what advice would you have for people who are bad at setting boundaries? Bad at setting boundaries in terms of having that time to disconnect. Um, so for a lot of people, they rely on their calendar. And so that can be used as a tool when it comes to um, stress management and making sure your mental health is okay. So if you know that you're a person who is not going to just say, I'm feeling a little overstimulated. I need to go and take a walk so that I can sort of relax and bring myself down. Then why not schedule it? So have a specific, uh, have set times during the day that you just take even a 15 minute break, even a 20 minute break, any short period of time that you're able to sort of calm down, relax and sort of regroup. And then 
figuring out within that time, whether it's 15 minutes, it can even be five minutes, but what to do within that time to bring your stress level down. What are some tips you might have for someone out there who's listening to this or watching this or reading the transcript of this? It says, you know what, I think I'm, I think I'm having some mental health challenges. What, what advice do you have for them? Um, I would say find somebody to talk to. Um, tell somebody about it. Uh, just reach out for help, whoever it is. If you have somebody that you trust, somebody that you feel like, um, somebody that you feel like knows you well, or somebody that you feel like you can have an honest conversation about how you're feeling. But I would definitely say, do not keep it inside. Do not say, hey, maybe it'll pass. I think the first step is telling somebody so that you can, you know, get whatever help you need to get back to your, get back to your baseline functioning. How can people learn more about you and what you do? Uh, you can go to drmarshabrown.com. That's my, that's my uh, website. Or you can follow me on Twitter or Instagram. It's uh, at drmarshabrown. One of the most deleterious things in the universe <laughs> is stress for all of our overall health, for our longevity, for our happiness, anything you want to measure. And um, one of the tools that's come into prominence, especially since some of the technology and brain scans and so forth have caught up with objectifying some of the uh, notions we have, let's talk a little bit about the tool that has proven to be so helpful to many, mindfulness. Yes. Um, so mindfulness is a practice that um, uh, it is very popular right now. Um, it's it was part of several different types of treatment, like psychological treatments for, for example, um, borderline personality disorder, for depression, for anxiety. But it's just uh, being able to. Um, take note of what is going on within your body and in your environment in the moment. Um, and so it's been used because it can be very helpful for people, especially, for example, we're talking about stress. So for people with anxiety who are sort of, you know, feeling, you know, very anxious, having, you know, a lot of emotions, thinking about, okay, but I didn't do this, 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 and this, and then tomorrow I forgot I have this thing, and then, oh, right, next week I'm supposed to be doing all of these things. How am I going to keep up with it? But bringing yourself back into the moment and um, sort of noting what's going on uh, inside in terms of your feelings and your emotions and just being present in the moment and then allowing all that other stuff to sort of be where it is, which is in the future and not right here, not right now. So right here on Exploring Different Brains, let's take us through, put you on the spot to do a two-minute mindfulness training? There are a bunch of things that are related. So one of the things that um, I, I like to do that, uh, because these tools are only helpful as long as people can use them in different situations, right? I mean, if it's something that you have to, you know, go to a very special building and room at a certain time when the sun is just right, people aren't going to use it because people have lives and they have things to do. Um, so one of the things I find helpful is just very quickly doing some um, deep breathing. And so uh, why don't we start with that? Let's do it. Start with the deep breathing? Okay. Um, so just go ahead really quickly and um, Sit up straight in your chair with both of your feet flat on the floor, and then perfect. Your posture right now is perfect. So your your hands are your palms are flat against your uh, thighs. So just go ahead and breathe deeply. Breathe in, and then just go ahead and exhale. Okay. So what we're gonna do? Just keep breathing in, and then out. Then breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Okay. So I'm going to keep talking, but you get go ahead and keep breathing deep in through your nose and then out through your mouth, right? Okay. So what you're doing during these exercises is really when we get stressed out and we get kind of when we get anxious, our breathing becomes more shallow and we're breathing faster and we're breathing in and out and it almost becomes similar to panting. But then when we stop, 
and we force our breath to go a little bit deeper, it calms us down. It slows down everything that's going on inside of us. So what you and I can do for this next couple minutes is I want you to inhale for three and then exhale for four, okay? So you can do that on your own, on your own time. So in, two, three, and then out, two, three, four. In, two, three, and out, two, three, four. Now go ahead, yep, that's perfect. It seems like you naturally wanna close your eyes right now. So go ahead and close your eyes. Mm -hmm. And then whenever you're ready, in, two, three, and out, two, three, four. And then just keep on concentrating on your breathing. That's all I want you to think about right now is the in for three and the out for four. And then what you're eventually going to work on is breathing in for four and then out for five. So the idea with this is that you're trying to slow your breath down and you're trying to deepen your breathing. And just as a note, your mind might start to wander. That's perfectly normal. Just whenever it does, note that your mind has gone off to something else, whether it's shopping, whether it's what you have to do later today, no matter what it is, and just note it and then bring it back to your breathing. I fell asleep. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> That's excellent. That's You're good. You're be. good. <laughs> Or maybe just boring. I, I don't know. No, no, but, no. but it's but that's what it's designed to do. It's just in the moment. And you know, that didn't take us long. That was about two minutes, right? And so it's just the idea of when things are crazy around you, you have all sorts of deadlines to meet, you have a lot of stuff going on, you have a lot of stuff on your plate. Just taking a minute, two minutes, five minutes, however long you have, and just focusing on your breath, deepening your breath. It's amazing that for you know a lot of people, it just brings you a certain sense of calm. Now you fell asleep, did, did you feel any sort of decrease in stress? Did you feel any sort of release from that? How did that make you feel? Makes me feel great. I feel recharged. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. great. That's You're what, good. That's You're what we, good. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Is there anything we haven't covered that you'd like to cover today? Um, about stress and mental health? Um, no, I think that one of the most important things is to just have a dialogue about it. I think that we're, there's such a stigma and everyone, you know, is trying to put on their game face 24 seven. And I think it's, it's okay to sometimes say, you know what, I'm really stressed out. I'm not doing well. I'm going to do whatever it is, take a half day off or even, you know, something as much as a full day off or as little as, you know, 10 minutes for yourself. And I know that sometimes it seems like, you know, well, I can't do that because, you know, my job or my kids or my spouse or whatever the case may be, but understanding that, you know, in the long run, it's an investment in yourself. And I guess we could also just sort of power through it. But at some point you reach the end of the road where you, you just can't do it anymore. And so I think it's really important to just have the discussion about, you know, how you're feeling, checking in with yourself, checking in with other people to just sort of figure out how you're feeling. And if you're not feeling great, then that's okay. Say that and then figure out where to go from there. It's been such a pleasure to have you here, Dr. Marsha Brown. Thank you. I've it's learned so really much great. today and I hope our listeners and viewers have also. I hope so as well. And uh, I hope you come back and visit us again sometime soon. Thank you so much. Anytime. Thank you. Exploring Different Brains is a production of Different Brains, Inc. For more information, visit us at differentbrains.org.